the helping of fun from live from the monkey house. Served up with love on hot lunch. Who ordered the correct Mundo special? Anybody? Was it you? Welcome back, everyone, to Make Your Own Instrument Day here at Live for the Monkey House. And now, please welcome Mike Furman. Let's go to Texas. Audience, give it up for Ryder. It's Ryder from Texas. Hello, Ryder. How are you? Hello. Hello. Hello welcome Ryder. to the Monkey House. OK, this is exciting, Ryder. Um, tell us, what items did you bring with you that you want to become musical instruments? So I have a metal box of Altoids. Okay. Oh, yeah, okay, Altoids. And a pen, okay. Yeah. Um, tell us about the Altoids. Is this like those teeny tiny Altoids? I'm going through my bag here. I think I've got a container of those. Is this the full-size one where the Altoids are, you know, they're like the size of a, a small coin? Or are these the little mini, mini ones, the, 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 just a very small container? They're like the... Small coin size. I okay, so the the container is like uh, sort of the size of maybe like a deck of playing cards. Would you say that's right? Yeah, that's a good yeah. Okay, idea. good. And are there uh, Altoids in there right now, Ryder, or is it empty? It, there are Altoids in it. Oh yeah. Oh, see, that, opens <laughs> all, that opens it all up. You've almost got a a uh, instrument without doing anything. Yeah, seriously. Uh, okay, and the pen. Is this a clicky pen? You know one of those ballpoint pens that's got the clicker on the end? You can engage the pen and disengage with a little, little click, 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 click. Yeah. Oh, man. Oh, man. <laughs> this, is, this is very fertile ground we're you dealing with here, You've got a veritable writer. orchestra in your hands. you got a lot of choices. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, first of all, before we uh, try to combine these into something new, I think each one of these already just has a built-in noise, which is itself musical. Could you uh, demonstrate the shaking of the Altoid tin for us right now, Ryder? What does that sound like? Okay. Did you okay, hear audience, that? put your put yeah, we totally heard yeah, it. Oh, audience, yeah. put your hands together for the sweet sound of the Altoid tin. Audience, there you go. Okay. And Ryder, that was played like a pro. Uh, what about the clicker pen? Now, could you could you demonstrate that sound for us? Yeah. Got a good timbre. It's got a good Yeah, time. audience. Audience, give it up for the clicky pen. Uh-huh. That one reminds me, Mike Furman, sort of like a snapping, like a, like in a cool yeah. jazz song. Oh, for sure. Snap, snaps. Yep. Uh, yep. Oh, what, what'd you hear in there? Do you see a way to combine these two elements into something new? I do. I say if you have the pen in one hand, uh, maybe right, or you have the pen in your dominant hand, like if you're right-handed, keep it in your uh, right hand, keep your thumb on the little clicker, and then put the uh, Altoid... Pe uh, can in your left hand, shake the alto can. I just happen to have a little bottle of uh, vitamins that I brought in because uh, an example of you know something you could shake. So it's going to sound kind of similar. And then I would click with the right and shake with the left. And if you want to kick it up a notch too, you could occasionally hit the tin with the pen and you would get a good like... Oh, I see. It's like, it's like a mean? full drum set right there. Yeah, yeah, you would different you rhythms on each, yeah. Do uh, you want to try that, Ryder? Do you want to try to do the shake and the click and the hit, all three elements all together in one rhythm? Yeah, I mean, let's try. Yeah, yeah, let's give it a shot. Let's give it a try, Ryder. <laughs> yeah, yeah, audience, give it up for Ryder in Texas. Yeah. That sounded really good. And yeah. That was nice. And Mike... Uh, I don't know if you heard this, Ryder, but just now Mike was doing a little bass, a little mouth oh, yeah. bass at the same jam. time. You, so you guys had sort of a, jam. you had a rhythm section going there. That was pretty cool. Um, Ryder, can I ch suggest just a slight alteration here? Um, uh, my favorite Jim Henson uh, uh, Muppets movie ever was called Emmett Otter's Jug Band Christmas. Have you ever seen that, Ryder? Do you know what that is? No. Okay, no. it's it's old. Um, Emmett Otter was an otter. And um, he and his mom growing up, they didn't have a lot around the house, but they had this wash tub. <laughs> and it was, there was, the thing about this wash tub, there was no hole in the wash tub. Uh, that was actually a song, Ain't No Hole in the Wash Tub. But they uh, turned it into a wash tub base. So the way they did that is they turned the wash tub upside down. So for you, the wash tub is the Altoids tin. You can just uh, hold that in, one, in your left hand. And then take the pen in your right hand, clicker side down, and balance it on top of the wash tub. Okay, so you've got 
what looks sort of like, I don't know, the wash t the Altoids are on the bottom with the pen on top. It looks sort of like a, I don't know, like a, like a, like a flagpole sort of in the ground. And what happens if you press down on the clicker, down and up, down and up, while you're shaking the uh, Altoids up and down? Does that work in making a sound? Could you try that, Ryder? Okay. So I... Yeah, it's kind of hard. But... Oh, it's a little hard. Yeah, that takes some practice, but... Oh, I hear that. How about... Don't even worry about shaking the Altoids. Just press the clicker down into the Altoids 10. Tin. Just press down and up and down and up and down and up. And look, I just want to see if we can get some echoing in there. Give it a try, Ryder. Nice. Yeah, right, that's something. Yeah. yeah, audience, put your hands together yeah. for Ryder. That's a little okay. metal on metal music there. Nice, Ryder. It's, right. almost, uh, it's almost metronomy. Like, that'll yeah, keep that, everybody yeah. in line. Totally. Listen to Live from the Monkey House with Jack Foreman today at 5 p.m. East Coast time, 2 p.m. West, here on Kids Place Live.